Emerson Unengogwa, the president of Zimbabwe, announced his bid for a second five-year term and pledged to do everything we can to remain in power, promising to recover an economy that had crumbled under his watch. On August 23, Zimbabwe will hold presidential and parliamentary elections, and it is anticipated that Pastor and Attorney Nelson Chamisa, 45, of the Citizens Coalition for Change Party, would compete against Umnengogwa, 80, of the ZANU-PF Party CCC. The election will take place in the midst of a severe economic crisis, massive inflation, and a currency that has fallen more than 50% against the dollar this month. Umning Gogwa promised infrastructural improvements in speeches made over the weekend, largely directed at his rural support base. ZANU PF cannot be stopped. As other parties continue to break apart, it will continue to lead Zimbabwe, he assured a sizable gathering of supporters in Chipinga, some 500 kilometers 311 miles east of the capital Harare. Nobody will be able to stop us because we battle for our democracy. In a coup in 2017, Umnengogwa overthrew Robert Mugabe, who had ruled independent Zimbabwe for 37 years. While Chamisa, who is still seen as the main opponent to his re-election attempt, Narrowly defeated him in the 2018 elections, he was immediately praised as a moderate leader. Voters' main concern in Zimbabwe is the country's economic problems, since a 100 Zimdollars dollar note. The largest denomination in the nation cannot even be used to purchase an egg. On the black market, $10,000 is exchanged for one US dollar. In contrast to ZANU-PF, which has a large support base in rural areas. The opposition CCC party has a significant following in towns and cities. A positive Umnengogwa claimed that his administration has made progress in generating electricity, building infrastructure, and growing the mining sector's economy from $3 billion in 2018 to $12 billion by the end of 2023. Speaking primarily in Shona, he stated, We are developing roads and dams and recently we started installing solar boreholes in every hamlet across the country. With the passage of the so-called Patriotic Bill, which opponents claim makes it illegal to criticize the government, Umnengogwa is competing against 10 other candidates for the presidency amid accusations that his administration is shrinking the democratic space. Following Mugabe's land seizures, Zimbabwe has experienced economic failure for more than 20 years, which has led to a financial crisis in the southern African nation.